I'm Gary. This is Austin. We are Midwest Mics coming back at you live from the Uclick Studios right here inside the Hy-Vee Arena. You can catch us, our show, on the U every week. UclickTV.com, click Shows, drop down menu, click on Midwest Mics. Or if you have an Amazon, Roku, uh, Apple TV, any of those streaming services, you can also find us on there through Uclick TV. Just subscribe to their channel. Check out lots of great content all over the U. All fall long, we'll have lots of high school sports coverage uh, coming live from many games every week. And uh, this week's game is actually going to be Shawnee Mission East taking on Gardner. So that's actually the Uclick Kansas game of the week and also our first Kansas game ever. So done a oh, lot of, done a lot of whoa. other stuff. In the state of Kansas. Yeah. Just no high school yet. So No high school. Yeah, but, you know. Well, there you go. Living an hour and a half away from the greater Kansas City area kind of makes it hard to. Yeah, makes yeah. it hard to branch out. Now I'm over in Prairie Village living, like, next to these guys, and then my daughter going to school with them, a sophomore over there. These guys are seniors. Hey, guys, stay away from my, my daughter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I got to meet you a little bit in a couple of days, and I'll say you got permission. <laughs> Yeah, tough, um, tough guy. We do have some special guests in here tonight. I'll get into that here in just a second. I want to take a second before we do that to talk about longboards. Make sure you visit one of their six locations in the Kansas City metro area. Uh, check them out on Twitter at longboardskc, website longboardswrapsandbowls.com. And we talk about it every week. Our favorite location, about 100 steps from us right here inside the Hy-Vee Arena. Had uh, well as usual. I had some food tonight, so yep. yeah, grilled uh, grilled cheese quesadilla, rice, chicken, three alarm sauce. Really good. Make me feel good. Makes me makes me want to take a nap. But I'm staying up for, yeah. the, for the show. But yeah, yeah, I know it's really good food. Um, so they got six like I said, six locations. KC uh, food's awesome. You had a bowl too. Yep, I had the Cabo beef bowl. Going, so. it's staying stuff. on my keto. Hey man, down twenty pounds since January. So, I can tell. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be slim. Count, I'm gonna are disappear. you counting the hair? You got? Are you counting the hair you got shaved off? Shaved off your beard? No, I, 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 I did not count that yet. No, oh, okay, you know, I'll, I'll weigh in tonight when maybe I get home. A couple pounds right there. Yeah, maybe a couple pounds off the beard. Did it? But uh, last week we did a high school game of the week. Midwest Mike's first ever game of the week. Congratulations to the Van Horn Falcons on winning that. This week's. This week, Midwest Mike's Game of the Week is Olathe South at Lawrence. And uh, I talked to their athletic director at Lawrence, John Hilton. He's excited to have the Midwest Mike's crew out there. That will be available on our Snapchat. Follow us at Midwest Mike's. Tyler will put that up, you know, uh, on the Midwest Mike's Snapchat. Forgot where I was going there. Yeah, he's going to put it up. Yeah, he's going to put up on the Midwest yeah. Mike's Snapchat. Uh, so it should be a good game, too. Uh, yeah, it should be. You'll late the South Falcons at, at Lawrence. Coach Steve Rampey going into his second year. So that'll yeah. be that'll be a fun game uh, to check out. And if you're out there, Tyler will be in his Midwest Mike shirt. So uh, make sure to say hi to him. You can, if you want us to do a game of the week for you, then uh, visit our website, MidwestMikes.com, and contact us there if you think your high school should be the Midwest Mike's Game of the Week for week three, four, five, six, on down the line. I thought they Just had to go through your agent for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's where all that stuff goes. It goes to my agent. You, you know. Uh, what, to become Game uh, of the Week? Bill Goldberg's agent's Uncle Louie. You want Uncle Louie? Uncle Louie? Yeah. Like no, Uncle no, Louis. no. Right now I'm happy with my representation. <laughs> but, uh, you know. But, yeah, all that goes through there. And, you know, we need to get a social media director. That's what we need. I thought that was you. I know it is. But uh, we need we need one that <laughs> can do it more, probably better than I can. Anyway, so uh, right now, this uh, guy sitting here to my left is Joe Krause. He plays center and nose guard for us at Shawnee Mission East. You can follow him on Twitter at Joe underscore Krause, K-R-A-U-S-E, double zero. Welcome into the show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we just elected captains yesterday, and you were voted one of our senior captains for the year, so congratulations on that. Thank you. Wave. 
right there. Oh, wave. Wave, he waved to the camera. He's yeah. saying, "You got to say hi to your fans." Yeah. Hello, fans. Get up to the mic. Yeah. Hello, yeah. fans. There you go. Hello. There you go. <laughs> Hello, fans. But uh, yeah, Joe is going to be a three-year starter for us this year, and taking care of a lot of that stuff there in the middle of the offensive line, and going to play a little defense for the first time for us uh, on the varsity level, uh, based on numbers. So. Just talk a little bit about your Shawnee Mission East experience over the last four years. The last four years have been best four years of my life playing football for the Shawnee Mission East program. Two years ago, our my first head coach, Dustin Delaney, retired or left East. So then we got Fred Bouchard, who then left us before we even got to play our first game. And then Coach Justin Hoover stepped in, and he has been – the best replacement for any coach we could have asked for, and he's just the greatest guy. Yeah, Coach, coach Hoover did, you know, step in, and Coach Bouchard, like you said, he left about a week before uh, the season was getting ready to kick off before we were going to start practice. So it was a little crazy time last year, you know, your yeah. junior year. But like you said, I, I think we couldn't ask for a better no. coach. And, and Coach Hoover, he, he does do a great job, you know, so – Coach Hoover, if you're listening, you know, make sure to put a little extra cheese on my paycheck there. You know, I'm, I'm saying nice things about you. Really? Is that, yeah. how, is that how that works? Maybe. I don't know. It's worth oh, a wow. shot, right? Oh, great. <laughs> it's worth that's a good. shot. Yeah, that's true. It is worth a, sh- yeah. it's worth a shot. You know, I mean, I my wife would appreciate a little more money, I'm sure. He, so he can, he can control the checks like that? He can just adjust them? I mean, so I however, you guys, do, however you guys do a fr- Friday night, or he's going to be like, ah, he, Gary's, yeah. Gary was trash. Nah, <laughs> Gary was good. Yeah. Yeah, the D-line didn't play well, so we're taking some of your money back. No, but anyway, um, so, Joe, talk about, you know, changing systems. We You know, Flexbone, your first two years, uh, you know, which was a lot more smash mouth, fire out low, hard. And just talk about the transition in, you know, the things that you had to do in the Flexbone versus now in our spread system. The biggest difference for me was definitely how we snap it because in the Flexbone, we would go under center, so I wouldn't have to worry about messing up the snap because it's pretty hard to mess it up. So I would be able to put more weight down and be able to fire off harder. Then we switched to a shotgun, and now I have to make sure I get the snap down first over anything because if I mess up the snap, the whole play's dead. So that's definitely been the biggest transition for me as a center. Yeah, it's, you know, a, a different blocking schemes a little bit too, you know, on, based on the way you fire out and, and different things. But, uh, you know, talk about Coach Butter. He's, he's loud. I, can, I think I can hear him yelling all the way from here right now. But uh, talk a little bit about, you know, your position, Coach, Coach Butter. My ears are still ringing from being at one practice. <laughs> um. <clears throat> For the first two years, he wasn't my coach. He wasn't at East at all. We had Coach Andrew Walter, who was the greatest guy, great teacher, just great guy. And everyone loved him. And then we got Coach Butter. And at first, he was really loud, and everyone was sort of scared of him. And it turned out he's one. He's my favorite coach at East. Um He's sorry, um, he's sorry, a, yeah. <laughs> sorry about sorry, that. Yeah. He's an amazing know. coach. Could not ask for a better guy. He loves all of his players, and he will do anything he can to help anyone on the team. Well, here's a new saying for you. You know, he's 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 loud on the field, but he's as soft as butter. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I should tell him that. <laughs> oh yeah, Co- Coach Butter. You know, he does a great job with you guys, and you know, you're all, you're always your group is always well prepared, and mm-hmm. he does. You know, it's. Uh, I probably work more closely with him than anybody else on the defensive side, just coaching D-line and, you know, seeing him work with you guys. He's uh, he's very demanding, but, yeah, he, you, you definitely can tell that he cares about all you yeah. guys. Uh, <clears throat> you know, talk a little bit about meaning, you know, like I said, you just found out today that you were going to be a captain mm-hmm. this year. Talk about what that means to you and, and how you plan on helping our, our team. It means a lot to me that my team would vote me captain because during practice and games, I'm not necessarily the nicest guy, but I just try to do what's best for the team, and the rest of the team knows that. So that's why they voted for me, and it's an honor to be a captain. Yeah, I do want to mention, you know, like Joe said, I meant to mention it before, but, yeah, we did have the team vote on captains. Coaches, we, we did not vote 
we uh, just left it up to the kids. We asked for two names from each player yesterday via secret ballot after practice, and then they turned those in to us. And so out of that, we came, you know, with, with five captains, Joe being one of those, and, you know, it, it is a, a big deal to be voted by your teammates. You know, it wasn't – wasn't that we would not have picked, you know, possibly some of these same guys, but we Coach Hoover felt like it was very important to leave it up to the team and, and let the team select, yeah. you know, who who would be our leaders. <clears throat> so what are, what are some things that you know you 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 feel like are your responsibility as a captain to help lead your team? I feel like it's my responsibility to make sure everyone's doing what they're doing, even if they're not in on the field at that time. They should still be able to get mental reps. And they shouldn't be messing around when they should be paying attention. And it's my responsibility to set an example, be that on the field or off the field, however I can, just make myself a better person and in suit they'll follow. That's great. All, all good things. And, I mean, I know, you know, from Coach you since you're a freshman, you'll do a great job with that. And, you know, I'm glad that you're one of our captains too. And uh, we play Gardner this week, which the game will be live on UClick TV. You can watch it uclicktv.com or wherever you are watching this show right now. From you, your from your man cave, your den, your yeah. your living room, family room, wherever your significant other will allow you to watch it, because we're on Roku, Amazon, and Apple yeah. TV, right, baby? Oh yeah, as the show is right now too. Absolutely. So wherever you're watching this, you know how how do you feel, kind of going into this this Gardner game it was one of our three losses last year, very close game. Yeah. You know, one score, first time in the new offense mm-hmm. coming out. You know, we had had a lot of changes head in that off season. Yeah, yeah, head coach for for just a very short time there. So, h- how do you feel going into the Gardner this week? I feel much more prepared. The team seems to be a lot more prepared. We definitely have a amazing team chemistry that I don't think we really had last year. And everyone's just ready to go and beat Gardner on Friday. Yep. It's, it's going to be a, a fun game. I think in some of the polls, you know, that I saw Gardner's ranked in the top five right now, we're a little lower down. You know, people are kind of underestimating us, I feel like, a little bit because of the senior class we lost last mm-hmm. year. Yeah. You know, there's not a lot of guys that – you know, had significant time last yep. year that, that are returning. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you you and got other guys in your class, you know, Ryan Bolin, for example, is a guy that stepped in and going to mm-hmm. play, you know, quarterback, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But, you know, just uh, other guys in your class have stepped in and kind of yeah. surprised even some of us coaches, you know, as, as we're looking into, you know, going into game week. Yep. And, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for Friday to get here. Yeah. We all are. Yeah, ready to hit somebody else and, uh, you know, be able to concentrate on what we need to do, you know, Mm -hmm. in in the moment. But uh, we'll get you out of here on this. What's your favorite Shawnee Mission East football memory? Uh, My favorite Shawnee Mission East football memory would probably be last year beating Olathe North in the first game because it came down to the last second and seeing the receiver for Olathe North not catch the pass really was a amazing experience yeah that that was a really exciting game you know i mean i remember we got we got a stop on d and you know offense drove down and scored that winning touchdown and you know then they they did have a few plays there on defense and like you said when that ball fell incomplete yeah. it's just it, it was a great feeling yep so well thanks for coming down again tonight yeah, thank and you for having me yeah anytime and uh we'll be right back after this